Hi, thanks for joining me. It's Michelle Sturgeon with Come Stamp With Me, coming to you from Ontario, Canada. And today I'm going to show you how I prepare my dies for storage. Um, so I get my dies, I put them on magnet sheets, and I prepare them to store in my uh, storage box. So here is a brand new one that I got, the stitch rectangle die, still in the plastic. And uh, I'm going to show you exactly what I do step by step. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and flip you down now. Mind my hands. There we go. Okay, hopefully got a good angle, you can see. All right, so this is the rectangle stitch framelit dies, and I'm gonna open this up, take this out, take out the paper, and this is how it comes. So I'm going to take them off scotch tape that they've got holding them on. There's a lot of dies on this one. It's a lot of dies. Alright, scotch tape is annoying. Okay, so this measures six by six and a quarter. So I'm going to go ahead and take the magnet that I got from the dollar store. So it looks like this. Photo magnets that I get from the dollar store. This is side view. This front view. And I'm going to open that. Now what I do is I keep an, um, an old what are these called? Blades. An old blade in my um, trimmer, at the back of my trimmer here. I keep it up here, away from all my other blades. These are my new blades. This is my old blade it stays there in that little pouch, so I know it's my old one. And that's the one that I use to cut my magnet, because the magnets strip, the magnet will totally destroy your blade. If you use it and then try and cut paper with it after, it will rip your paper. So six by, let's double check, yeah, that's perfect. And I'm going to keep this smaller piece because I can use that for something else later. So then I tear that right off the backing and move out of the way, guys. And I'm going to put that right on my piece of white, like so. There we go. And now it's a case of putting these back on. It's going to be a tight fit, I think. Oh, I can't wait to play with these. These came out last year, but I didn't buy them because I had other brands. And I thought, I want to try them because these are a little bit differently sized and I'll be able to use them with other things. I get a lot of dies in here. Like this is a really good value actually. This would be perfect for cutting out words. And we have this random one right here. Alright, so they fit perfectly on there. And the best part is they won't come off. So the way that these new pockets work, this is actually an old style pocket. Okay, so we don't have to worry about that. Um, with the new style pocket, I put it in this way so that when I go to close it, it makes it easier to close. With these, it doesn't matter much. This does have the name on it. But when I get dies that don't have the name on it, like the detailed peacock that I just did, what I do is I take my Dymo label maker and I uh, would print out what I would wanted it to say. So in this case it was detailed peacock, I hit print, it prints out, I cut it, and then I stick it right on there so that it's got the word on there. But the old style, this, was, this came out last year, so the old style already has the words. New styles don't. New style I use the, the label maker for. And then, see what I mean about the new style pockets? 
they have a different closing mechanism here, this little <coughs> tiny window. So with it being smooth on this side, um, it's a lot easier to put this little flap in than having to worry about doing it with the dies because the dies would interfere with that. So this is how I store them. And it makes it so much easier. There we go, mind my hands as I flip back up. All right, so hopefully that was helpful. Um, like I said, those magnet sheets, a buck at the dollar store, and uh, they keep your dies nice and safe and they don't, uh, they don't move around. I like it especially for uh, nested dies like this because then they keep them all together and they're not st stuck at the bottom of your little envelope there. All right, thanks for watching, and as always, please hit the subscribe button. It doesn't cost you anything to just subscribe. It'll just give you notices. It'll show up on your YouTube feed whenever I have a new video. Um, press the like button, share with your friends, and uh, thanks for watching. Have a great weekend.